welcome back to the channel. This is Easy. It's Easy Street Gaming. For those of you who are wondering what the hell Easy's doing with all these crazy videos on things like the laboratory and the clan castle, this is for the new guys. Uh, when you first start off, a lot of stuff, it seems simple, kind of basic. It's easy to get through at first. But a lot of the things that go on um, are a little more complex than they first seem to be. So I want to break down some of this stuff for everyone so you don't spend the first six months to a year screwing up everything and then have to take the next six months to a year and fix it. That's, that's the goal at least. Um, this video is on the clan castle. Yeah, the clan castle is actually an instrumental piece to, to, uh, to your base and to your attacks. Uh, first of all, on your base, uh, well let's just say this, first of all in the background what we have going on is a couple of attacks. Um, when you start your attack, you want to try to pull the clan castle troops out. We'll get into that a little more, but by pulling the clan castle troops out, the clan castle has a circle, a trigger zone. You want to try to pull those clan castle troops out by, by sending one of your troops into that trigger zone, pull their troops out of their clan castle, and eliminate them before they follow your troops around and wipe them off the map, because that is what happens a lot. Unfortunately, that's what happens in this particular attack. Uh, the clan castle troops were not tended to at the beginning of the attack, so they, the dragon that was in the clan castle went in and wiped out all the balloons in this attack. So, now let's talk about what, what it does on your base first though. When you're building your base, uh, especially your war base, your clan castle, should, it should be the very first piece that you put on the, on the board. It's the center of every single one of your bases. It's, uh, you, you'd think that town hall is the center, but it's not. It's the clan castle. The reason is, is the clan castle is actually the strongest defensive piece on your board. Um, now, I know that it, it's not weaponized. It doesn't have a cannon. It doesn't have a mortar. It's not, there's no weapons that get fired from it. But what does come out of it are the clan castle troops. And if you are in a good clan, you may be... You may have excellent troops in the clan castle defending your base at any given time, especially on wars. So, because of that, let's say if you have a 30 spot uh, clan castle, so you can get 30 housing spaces worth of troops, you could have a dragon and two balloons in there. The damage per second of the dragon and the two balloons are probably better than any other one defense on your base. And, the cannon you have on your base has a particular zone it can fire into. The clan castle troops chase everyone around. They are relentless. They jump over walls. They, uh, of course, the flying troops fly around. Uh, they, they will chase down every last troop. Down. They don't feel bad for anyone. They don't. They don't play favorites. They find the closest troop and they try to kill it. So, that clan castle is a vital piece. So, put the clan castle in the middle of your base, especially in your war base. Um, now, on when you are attacking. Uh, this is one of the biggest mistakes people make um, and our clan is is prone to this too and and I'm going to tell you why because we have some guys that are superb attackers that the clan castle rarely gets to them their atta their attacks are built specifically to deal with the clan castle troops in mid attack they know how to do it they've been doing it ever since they've played they're excellent at it then we have other guys that watch them and think oh I can do that too and they're wrong because they can't and they get they get smoked most of the time uh, the clan castle troops don't come out when they think they're going to they end up get they, you know the the air troops end up getting over ground only troops and it's just a nightmare half the time so get into the habit of trying to pull the clan castle troops which is called the lure and then you will want to anchor them a an anchor is when you put another troop somewhere else on the board to pull those troops away from the defenses so where you can tend to them and you're not going to have defenses to deal with at the same time. Uh, if you look up on the screen here, there's uh, builder's huts in the corners. That's a great place to pull those clan castle troops into the corner. Anchor them down with a troop in the corner. And then uh, as you see what we did here is we put uh, poison spells on top of the, their clan castle troops. Then we put a golem in. That distracted the dragon for a little while. And then we put in troops behind the dragon and eliminated real quick some wizards. Um, it, it's not the hardest thing to take care of it. Some of these pulls are going to be really hard. Um, smart, smart players make it really hard to pull the clan castle troops. We're not going to get into how to, how how to, some of these advanced techniques today. This is for beginners. Uh, there, but just know this that if you're having a hard time pulling the clan castle troops, there are ways to do it. 
what you have to do just briefly is you have to dedicate more troops to pulling the clan castle troops if you have to dedicate 15 troop housing space of troops or 20 or 25 even it's worth it other than taking that risk of losing your entire attack because you'll have a dragon and a balloon come out on top of your valkyries follow the valkyries around and you have a, a one star instead of dedicating 25 housing space worth of, of hogs to get through two or three defenses to get into the into the to get close enough to the clan castle to pull up those clan castle troops and then you can deal with them so it's it's better to deal with them up front it's better to allocate a larger amount of troops up front than pray that you're going to be okay after now we're not going to beat this up to death I think I've said it enough now. It's a good idea to pull the clan castle troops. So let's get into some other factors about the clan castle. Uh, the trigger zone, it, when you click on the clan castle, there's a trigger zone. Now you know, so now you know you have to you have to send troops in to pull the clan castle troops out of that out of that clan castle. Uh, you do it by sending troops over the trigger zone. You'll learn that hog riders and balloons are, are good troops to send in because they jump over walls and fly over walls and, and they can get into the trigger zone easier than other troops that have to beat through walls. Uh, you'll also notice that if, if you send a, a single hog rider in and you trigger the clan castle troops, you may have a troop or two come out. But if the defenders are smart and they put a mixture of troops in, you may not get them all to come out. There is a system, there is a specific um, system that is used, and to be quite honest with you, I don't know exactly what it is. I do know that it's based on the housing spaces of the troops that you're using, it's based on the amount of time that the troops that you're using spend inside the trigger zone. So if you have a one housing space troop inside the trigger zone for a half a second, you can pretty much bet that you're not going to get all 25 or 30 troops pulled out of that clan castle. Now if you send in... Uh, a Pekka, which is 25 housing space, she's going to pull them all out right away. Uh, so it's based on how many housing space are the troop that you send into that into that pull, pull zone and how many troops they have in the clan castle troop and how many different troops are in that clan castle. If they just have one troop in there, then your one small troop may pull it right out. Um, if they have a mixture of 14 or 15 small troops, you may not get all those troops to come out at one time, and then you'll have a surprise waiting for you in the middle of your raid. So that's something to be mindful of. Um, which also brings me to my next point. When you're loading your clan castle, especially during wars, it is a good idea, instead of putting a one large troop in, to put a mixture of smaller troops in. Uh, believe it or not, even goblins can pose to be a problem. We have had... A gob goblins come out of the clan castle and take a queen down in about two seconds. Um, these smaller one housing space troops, you may think that they're not the, the best troops to put in the clan castle, especially in a war scenario. Uh, and believe it or not, that if, you're if that's your line of thinking, you might be thinking a little wrong. These smaller troops, uh, less of them come out at a time. It's harder to get them all to come out, and, they, and they're pesky. They'll split up, they'll, take, they'll go to different parts of the base. And they'll just be a real pain to take care of. Um, troops like witches that reproduce uh, troops that they're especially hard to deal with. Um, now, when you're dealing when you're dealing with the clan castle troops, there is the poison spell that's very helpful. So, th this is another short video. I just want to I want you to get used to the the concept that the clan castle is one of the most important pieces on your base. Put it down first when you're building your base. When you're attacking, you want to incorporate pulling the clan castle troops out and, t and eliminating them as part of every one of your attacks. Uh, don't get lazy and just do it in war. Do it when you're farming too. It's a really big part of the game. If you want to become an elite player, this is something you do at the beginning of every single one of your attacks. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. This has been easy. Take care. See ya.